Okay, here we have Husqvarna's uh, strongest climb saw. It's the uh, T540 XP. It is, uh, and this is directly from Husqvarna's website, it is 37.7 cubic uh, centimeters of displacement. It makes 2.4 horsepower. It has a maximum RPM speed of 10,200 RPM. The fuel tank volume is 0.72 US pints. The idle speed is 3,000 RPM, and the maximum torque is 1.79 newton meters. This saw has the 16-inch uh, tech light bar. I know a lot of guys get the 14-inch uh, because just it's lighter and it's easier to climb with. You can see here it has small felling spikes, also a two-post chain break. It has Husqvarna's version of what I believe is just a copy of uh, Steel's Elasto Start. So instead of using a rubber, it's just like Steel's climb saws and it has an internal spring right here. So if you hit it on a combustion stroke, you don't pull your arm off, even though with a saw that's such small displacement, you shouldn't have to worry about that. Now this saw is equipped with auto-tune like many of Husqvarna's new saws, so you don't need to make carburetor adjustments and it's not possible to but it'll automatically adjust when started for the different mix of fuel that you're using, different octanes, uh, altitudes, and whether your air filter's clogged, and you know, different things that can cause the engine to run differently. Uh, this one has the uh, nylon filter, I believe, or they also have a felt filter I have in a box that's brand new. For the climb saw right now I just use the nylon because it seems to run a little bit better even though it shouldn't make that big of a difference you can see here you have your inlet for your carburetor and then your because this engine stratified like many of the new saws it also has this extra inlet you can see the wiring for the auto tune like all of Husqvarna's climb saws I don't think they've had a single um, operator lever just like the steel has right here this one has it separate so to start this would be your full choke then you pull it till it you know it kicks over then you turn it off and start it and then that'll keep it at high idle and then just one click of the throttle and it shuts it off it also has a primer valve and then uh husqvarna's quick flip fuel caps which i believe in my opinion are better than steel's because it just runs a regular thread instead of like steels just you know half turn so it's on many of the new guys can't figure out how to use those properly for some reason so they'll send you up a climb saw and you're covered in fuel so that's one problem you can see here like all of Husqvarna saws for the most part it has the uh, spring dampening system it has one located here one here and then one for the top of the grip up here This saw, like a lot of Husqvarna's other new saws, also has the uh, bar nuts that are retained so you don't have to worry about losing them. You can see here that this saw, like most of the climb saws, I'm not sure about Echoes, but I'm pretty sure they also run outboard clutches. This saw has a uh, semi-chisel chain. It's 3 8 micro, 050 gauge. You can see here it's semi-chisel. There's the tech light bar, and then this also has a spur sprocket like most climb saws. Again, I can't speak for the Echo, but I do own steels. Uh, these saws, you know, he prefer, my father prefers to use this saw when he climbs or operates the bucket. I prefer personally to use the steel uh, 201T just because, uh, to me, it feels like the saw... It's just easier when it's, you know, with the single control for the uh, trigger and the choke and everything all located right here to kill it. It's much better than uh, having to reach right here. I guess that's just operator preference, though. And this saw, once it's warmed up, it feels like it makes more power than the uh, 201. I don't have a CM. I just have the regular 201T with the, you know, carburetor you have to adjust. So I don't know how the new ones are on power. But this saw seems to feel like it has a little bit more power when it's fully warmed up. Uh, 
my father also says that uh, when he runs the saw, he used to run only steel clam saws. Beginning to even purchase one of these uh, when I when they had first came out was next to impossible. Now we've had a multiple ones because a few of them that he's just sent out of the tree and stuff like that. That uh, now we just keep for spare parts. But uh, anyways, he only used to run steel clam saws, the 200T uh, and the 201T, and then. Uh, he switched over to this one, and he used to have elbow pains when he was running the steel 200Ts and, and 201Ts. And now that he runs this one, he said his elbow pain has gone away, so he refuses to run the 200 and 201T. And he said he thinks it's due to just the springs having more play. You can see here when you work on it, you know, the saw has a lot of play. And if I grab a 200T... 201T, excuse me, you can see here that it has slight, it seems like it has more play, but for some reason he says that uh, it feels better. So I'm not entirely sure, it could just be operator preference again, but either way, it's a great climb saw. I've never had any of the issues with it that people have with the hot start or anything like that, or excuse me, not the hot start, but it, you know, not staying warm. A lot of people say that they're cold blooded and you have to pull on them a million times to start them in the tree, but in my personal experience, once you get it warmed up in the morning, it's good for the rest of the day. Either way, if you have any questions about the saw, feel free to uh, comment and I'll respond. Thank you very much.